Peace, you're now rocking with B from Be That Self, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some tamarind juice using sweet tamarind, key lime, spring water. Let's get started. Whenever I make tamarind juice, I use the whole box just because I make a whole pitcher. The family loves it, so it goes pretty quick. Now you're gonna do is take the tamarind, kind of take it out of its shell, take the shelling off, and then you also want to get the veins as well. One moment, I'm gonna get a bowl actually to let those sit. So once we take all these out of the shell, we're just gonna submerge it in water and let it soak overnight. This is kind of taking long. I hope you guys don't matter if I use some magic. Uh, yeah. So there you have it. After you devent your tamarind, here's how it should look. Now we're just gonna to toss that, all of them, into the bowl. Then we're gonna submerge the tamarind with some spring water. I'm using geyser. If you have some some of the brown shell still on it, uh, that's okay because we're going to strain it at the end anyway. Store it in the fridge to let it soak overnight. We'll be back tomorrow. So now that your tamarind has been submerged in water overnight, or for at least about 12 hours, um, you can start kind of mushing it all together with clean hands, or you can put it in your blender on the lowest setting from what I've heard. I've never tried that. Um, I've always kind of grabbed up the tamarind with my hands. And what you're doing is you're just making sure you're squeezing it until all the little, until all these black seeds come out. Tamarind has like little black seeds. You're just squeezing it until these seeds come out right here. Tamarind doesn't look too appetizing when it's in water. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you could already guess what it looks like in water, but um, we'll leave that to the imagination. All right, so once you manage to remove the seeds from the pulp, remove all the flesh from the, um, from the seed, you're going to go ahead and strain it. that do its thing real quick and to speed up the process what you can do is kind of take your spoon and swirl it around a bit press down on the pulp as well to get out any extra flavor And 
And whether you have sweet tamarind or sour tamarind will depict whether or how much agave you'll add or how much key lime juice to it you'll add. You have to use your your best instinct and your best intuition on that. Now you're going to mix it up on a low setting in your blender. Turn it up a bit. Top it off. All right, refrigerate. So once it had time to cool off in the fridge, this is how it will look. It will look a little bit separated, where you have a lot of the fiber, the fiber from the juice up top. All you have to do is just shake it up. Just like that. So there you have it. A quick video tutorial on how to make your own tamarind juice. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next recipe.